What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here, I'd like to welcome you guys back to Vampire. Hope you guys are enjoying this let's play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. Without any further ado though, let's get into the next video. Science without conscience. Next mission. We have to go to Edgar Swansea. EDGAR! Ah, what's going on? Jesus, it was choppy. So is he in here now then? No, what am I doing? Sorry, sorry. So he's unmarked now, after that boss fight. He's unmarked. Well, he's not too, well, 180 meters. It's relatively far. We gotta get to the theater. We've been there once, we've been there before. Actually, where am I going? I'm at 2825. So before I do anything, I think I might actually go back upstairs. I just want to check something, actually. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to go ahead and sleep it off. That way we can uh, upgrade a little bit. All right. What are we thinking? Well, we only have 2825, so we're not gonna be able to get the claw upgrade. That's expensive. We're already pretty high up. I had to do some upgrades for that. Uh, I could do that, spend most of my money in that, or my bite, but I don't seem to bite very much anymore, do I? That's a 3,000, I can't afford it. I'm close, but I can't afford it. Um, maybe my healing? That'd be just enough. That would boost my healing even more. I think that seems... Let's do that. Look at that. We leveled up to a 28 as well. I'm okay with that. Because we need solid healing. Stuff that's actually going to do work. Shotgun shell. A kick into hell. I'm surprised every, everyone's going to die. Oh, I'm sorry. Emily died. Or somebody is missing. I don't know, I just haven't felt the desire to, uh, I don't know, uh, to, like, really save everybody. I mean, I can, but the, in this game, they make it, you have to do a lot of legwork if you, if, you, if you want everyone to be healthy and to still be a decent level. You know what I mean? But in order to get a decent level like I had to to beat that last boss... Um Your mind. What level is he? Oh, he's a 32, not too shabby. He dead. See now that we're at 28, we're not too down, we're not too shabby. I'm just super choked, like I said. Like, if I open up back, I didn't really get get a chance to show you guys this yet. But if we go to districts, everyone's relatively critical. This guy, he's missing. I don't know what happened to him. Um, but these guys are critical. They're almost going to die. Same with these guys. Because I haven't healed anybody. Even though I thought I did heal a few people. But then I ate them. That's why. I embraced a few of them to help level myself up. And these guys are pretty critical as well. I haven't eaten anybody, I don't think. But... I helped this guy out. I fixed his blood. You know what I mean? I, gave, I ran around helping some people. I helped him as well. Um, this whole district, this is what I was talking about. They all died. Accidentally. And the thing is, I am, as you can see, everyone's dead. I don't know if it says I embrace. See, I embraced Calhoun Russell. He was the one who put it over the edge. I also embraced Karina and Louise Teasdale. And that was enough. Everyone else died. It's funny. Charlotte, I actually got to her maximum. She had 5,000. So if I'd known everybody was going to die, I would have just embraced all of them and got a huge level up. But what's done is, as they say, done. Why are you shooting me? I'm, I can help you. These guys are feral. You know what? You want to dance? Whoa! Get your bitch ass off me! Stop it! Fine, you wanna dance? 
we use that. Get some health. All right. I don't think that's the right way. Let's open up the tab. Where are we going? Why is it still there? All right, so we gotta go straight and left. How do I not have any? I thought it said we got some shotgun shells. Are you from Ascalon? Another vamp. I see. Oh, I see. He gets to bite me. Cute. Oh. This is some cheddar cheese. Go! One. No! See how good it is, though, now? There you go. I'm just. Oh, it's so good for healing, though. It makes a huge difference. Oh, I hate that because it's a total waste. But that heals immensely. Why is this guy so good? I mean, I'm only a couple levels below him. And watch. One of my other gripes with this game. Come on, get up. See, he's not losing health anymore. Am I tripping? Now he is, finally. Ah, come on. God, the son of a bitch, dude. Finally, good freaking god. Watch the yet watch it be only worth like 5 exp 10. See what I'm talking about? They make it a grind. That's why I started biting everybody. I got sick of it. Oh, it's one of these big guys. We've already fought one of these. But he's weaker. He's way easier to take out, though. Thank you very much. See, it's just a bit of a... It's a bit of a faff. As the Brits would say. To get from point A to point B in this game. Anyway. Because you have all these Nimrods in between. I missed him. See, that was great. That was wonderful. I wish I had a shilling for every senseless killing. Good night. Oh, you want some, bro? You know, just take this. Focus on one dude. There are better moves. He did. You know he did. Yeah, see, this is the West End. The West End is hostile because of that. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. All right, so I know we can't go down there like that. I mean, we have to go this way, but I think it's this way. I'm gonna eat that rat. Sorry. This is despicable. Hi. Good night. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. What a waste of blood. I was pretty much filled up. Filled up. Hi, guys. We're Swansea. He's mine, 
That was weird. These kind of guys are really damaging. He's dead. See, with him, you gotta do like a slice and slice and dice. Okay. Where is he? McCollum's report. Where's my mouse? Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. That was weird. It wouldn't let me do it. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Okay. Anything else over here? This looks promising. Go further down. Going further down, 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 down. Sir, no civilians allowed. I love that. He, he's like, you're supposed to defend this with your life, bro. It's locked. I guarantee you that's where we need to get to. We just gotta do like a bit of a circle maze. Bloody There you go. Just a bit of patience. It does feel good actually being kind of matching these people. You know what I mean? Hello. It's locked, locked all right. right. William Marshall's memoir. See, like for some reason it won't let blood me. Of a pure heart. Theater basement. Garlic. Key. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. The Vampire Knight. I had better keep that in mind. It's locked. All right, is this for the basement? Yeah. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Edgar, as much as I would like to believe you, I have a few concerns that require clarification. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. 
amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. A terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? What's his details? Oh, he's at 6,000. I could get some serious level Doris ups Fletcher from him. Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster.
You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Interesting. I can embrace him, let him die, or turn him. So if I say let die, I'll probably gain 3,000 experience. Well, so there's no other way out of this. I have to make a call. Damn. I'll make your death quicker. You deserve it. Your sacrifice, you're not going to die. We make him a vampire. I don't really think that's really fair. I don't want to embrace him, but I also want to level up. But do we need to level up? That might be a douchey process. So there really is no way around it. Damn it. Bruh, I'm so, I don't know what to do. This is actually a tough call. Let him die. I have everything we found. We found out everything for him. That's why we have this extra one. Just let him die. Or we can make his death quicker. But we, the only way we can heal him is if we turn him. I don't know if I want to do that. If that's considered a nice thing to do or not. Damn, I'd rather just... I'd prefer there's a way to heal him. But what about his help? Maybe we could get his help. But he betrayed two of his patients. It's pretty dirty. Ugh, man, what should I do? Live and let die. I feel like we'll get, if we let him die, if we do this, we'll get all of his experience. So we'll probably get 3,000 here and we'll get six if we do this. So we'll probably get, like, some experience in the process. I don't know what to do. Damn, guys. I don't want to let him die. I feel like he's important to the, the plot, but... Oh, my God. I don't like any of these decisions, man. I'm literally stuck. I don't know what to do. Honestly, man, I think... This is our best bet. Because I don't want to condemn him to be a vampire. But if we do that, super... I'm going to say that. Yes, Edgar. You're about to die. I won't say it's fair, but I can't say you don't deserve it. Your words hurt deeply, Jonathan. But they come from a friend. I... I helped you, remember? Yes. I remember. The second I saw you in that bar, oh, I knew we would accomplish great things, you and I. I thought you were a vampire, until you brandished that cross. You looked so lost when you opened that door. For a few seconds, I thought you were there to kill me. I think we were both afraid. Now, I feel true fear. Is there an afterlife? What will become of me when I'm dead, Dr. Reed? I really cannot say, Dr. Swansea. Uh, uh, in the end, life betrays us all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, danq and Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. If you want to save 10% off your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If 
if you feel trouble while and wild on these violent and hit you eight thousand wait a minute hold that stylist style dan goddamn billy jack we still riding tires flat i hear them sirens see shots flying so we driving fire back if they ain't vibing lie with that got me dressed up in all black what up hood up and i see them haters try to run with us they don't need inhalers gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players grab your respirators night in bed get like savored mass on for the shooters move like trash to bed intruder got that glock and got them woofers just press play i'll keep it moving who is knock till you damn fools keep it fresh like canned food there ain't nothing we can't do so tune into that damn kill yeah it was never ever a game